Deuteronomy chapter 29 verse 9. Deuteronomy chapter 29 verse 9. Hope you are not tired. How can you be tired? When witches will go, they will go on, uh, uh, where we, they say, where we, well, that's what they said. They say, where we are sleeping, that's when they go old meeting. Then when do they sleep? So they don't sleep. Amen. Thank God, God too does not sleep. <laughs> he that keepeth his strength does not sleep nor slumber. Thank God, because me, I sleep. I'm a human being. But thank God I have a God who doesn't sleep. Who is watching over me. Are you ready? Tell me 29 verse 9 quickly. Therefore, keep the words of this covenant. Do them that you may what? Prosper in all that you do. Now listen. That all is not just anything. It is the word of this covenant. The instruction that is coming from God. When you do it, he said you will prosper in all of it. Now, let me say this. Sometimes God instructs us to do some things, but we don't have courage to do them. God will tell you, go and knock that door. The fear of the door not opening, you will not even obey God. How many of us were inspiring change? If you listen to Ellen Paul's testimony, one of the things I saw in her is that she's courageous. She's ready to do whatever God tells her to do, no matter what. Huh? So you need to get to that point, if you, are ready, if you really want God to bless you, where you are ready to do whatever God tells you to do. John 2, 5 says, whatever he tells you to do, do it. I will say, I'll do it. Are you ready? Are you set? Please say this prayer after me. Say it loudly. Say, Holy Spirit, raise up, rise up in me the courage and confidence to do what you tell me when you tell me to do it. You need courage to do whatever God tells you to do Whenever he tells you to do it. Why we are not seeing enough of God's son is that we don't do what God tells us to do when he tells us to do it. We are afraid. He said, fill this water pot with water. It takes courage. It takes God. So you are going to say, Holy Spirit, rise in, raise in me courage and confidence to do whatever God tells me to do. Whenever he tells me to do it. Turn it to prayer quickly. Spirit of the living God, raise in me confidence and courage to do whatever you tell me to do whenever you tell me to do it. I will, not, I will not be afraid to obey you anymore. I will not be afraid to take steps according to your will anymore. I will not be afraid to do your work, your, your, to do your words anymore. I will not be afraid, I will not be intimidated. I receive courage, Holy Spirit of God, raise within me courage and confidence to do whatever you tell me to do. Whatever you tell me to do it. In the name of Jesus. To do whatever you tell me to do. Whenever you tell me to do it. In the name of Jesus. To call whoever you ask me to call. Whenever you ask me to call. To knock whichever door you ask me to knock. Whenever you ask me to knock. To obey you Lord. I receive courage and confidence. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus precious name we have prayed. Isaiah 45 verse 1 to 3. Isaiah 45 verse 1 to 3. Thus saith the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I have held, to subdue nation before him. God will subdue nation before you. Every time you approach an embassy, you are approaching a nation. That embassy will be subdued before you. After this prayer point, you will not be rejected anymore. You are not saying amen because you don't believe it. If that day there is one person they will give insight to be you. If they choose not to give anyone, they will reverse it and give it to you. Look at that scripture again. And so go back a little bit, please. Don't rush. To subdue what? Nations before him. America is a nation now. To subdue nations before him. Let's continue. And lose the hammer of kings. To open before him double doors. Are you ready for double doors? Not one door. Double doors. To open before him what? Double doors. So that the gates will not be shut. I, I love that. Verse 2. I will go before you. And make crooked places straight before you. I will break in pieces the gates of brass. Let's continue. And cut the bars of iron. 
I will give you the treasures of darkness. Uh, and hidden riches of secret places. After this prayer meeting, what God will begin to give you are hidden riches of secret places. Treasures of darkness. I said treasures of darkness. Those ones have been kept in ancient of this. For in ancient, I said God will deliver it into your hands. Stretch your two hands up with the communion in your hand. Let's go back to that scripture. Isaiah 45, verse 1 to 3. Stretch your two hands up with your communion in your hand. Are you ready? Say, Lord, open before me double doors of unlimited opportunities that cannot be shot by men and go before me to level the mountains. Fill the valleys and straighten the crooked paths. Say it again. Lord, open before me double doors of unlimited opportunities that cannot be shot by men and go before me to level the mountains, fill the valleys and straighten the crooked ways. Turn it to prayer quickly. Father, go before me. Open before me double doors of unlimited opportunities, double doors of favor and blessings. Go before me to remove all the mountains, fill all the valleys, make all the crooked ways straight in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Lord, open before me double doors of blessings, double doors of favor, double doors of promotion, double doors of increase, double doors of lifting. And go before me, Lord. Re lower all the mountains. Lift up all the valleys. Fill up all the valleys. Make all the crooked ways straight. I decree it, and so shall it be. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Psalm 51 verse 10. Psalm 51 verse 10. The 27th prayer point. Psalm 51 verse 10. Create in me a clean spirit, a clean heart. One says a clean spirit. Oh God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. What a powerful prayer. Create in me a new heart. Oh God, and renew right spirit within me. Once again, create in me. Creating me a new heart, oh God, and renew right spirit within me. Cast me not away, cast me not away from your presence. So long, take God's Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of my salvation. I renew right spirit. I renew right spirit within me. Thank you. That's one of the most powerful prayers David prayed. He was simply telling God, I don't want to have anything in my heart that will keep you far from me. I need your presence in my life. Say this prayer after me. Say it loudly. Today. Mark the beginning of my bouncing back. My job shall be restored. My lost glory shall be fully recovered. My lost glory shall be fully recovered. Today, I'm bouncing back. My joy will be restored. My joy will be restored. And my lost glory will be fully recovered. Turn it to prayer quickly. Today, I bounce back. My joy restored. In the name of Jesus. Everything I've lost restored. My lost glory restored. In the name of Jesus. My new creation reality restored. 
In the name of Jesus. I'm bouncing back. In the name of Jesus. Let not my enemy rejoice when I fall. I'll get up again. I'm getting up today. Yes. Bouncing back today. Joy restored. Glory restored. Fully recovered. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name we pray. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Esther chapter 7 verse 5 to 10. Esther 7 5 to 10. And so King Asherus answered and said to Queen Esther, Who is he and where is he? Who will dare presume in his heart to do such a thing? Verse 6, quickly, we're running. Esther said, The adversary and enemy is this wicked Ammon. So Ammon terrified before the king and queen. The next verse. Then, then the king arose in his wrath, in his anger, from the banquet of wine and went into the palace garden. But Haman stood before who? Where did Haman stood? Before Queen Esther, pleading for his life. For he saw that evil was determined against him by the king. You know, he's very close to the king. He knows when the king is angry like that. He knows the kind of things that can come out. But see, when the king returned from the palace garden to the place of the banquet wine, Haman had fallen across to the couch where Esther was. Then the king said, verse 9, Will he also assault the queen while I am in the house? As the word left the king's mouth, they cover a man's face. Look at the last verse. Verse 9. Are you, no, we're going to 10. Now, Habona, one of what? One of the Enoch said to the king, Look, the gallows, 50 feet high, which a man made for Mordecai, who spoke good on the king's behalf, is standing at the house of Haman. Then the king said, Hang him on it. Verse 10. So when the king speaks, so they hung a man on the gallows that he had prepared for Mordecai. This is where we are going. Then the king's wrath subsided. Your enemy were arranging your hand. They didn't know that they would become victims of their own handwork. So pray this prayer after me. Are you ready? Say, Lord, expose every evil agent evil agendas and destroy them in the name of Jesus. Turn it to prayer quickly. Expose every evil agent and agenda and destroy them like you did for Haman. Every evil agenda against me, my wife, my children, Father, expose them and destroy them. Every evil agency against me, my wife and children, Lord, expose them and destroy them. 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 Like you did for Haman in the name of Jesus. Every evil agenda, every evil device, expose them and destroy them. Every evil device, expose them and destroy them. By the power in the blood, expose them and destroy them. By the power in the blood, expose them and destroy them. By the power in the blood, expose them and destroy them. In the name of Jesus. Every evil agent, every evil agenda, in my place of work, in my place of assignment, in the name of Jesus. Father, expose them and destroy them. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name we pray. We are going to repeat that prayer one more time. But I want to say this, after this prayer, you'll be hearing some news. It'll be good news for you. It will be bad news to the enemy. Amen. Do you know that that same thing that Ammon was preparing for, for, for Mordecai, the same thing. God just flip it. Look of flipping. So it became good news to Mordecai and bad news to Ammon. So that you know how to pray this prayer. When you say destroy those agendas, you are saying that, Lord, flip it. Reverse it. Let it be for my good. Say after me. Lord, expose every evil agent and evil agenda and destroy them in the name of Jesus. Turn it to prayer quickly. 
evil agencies, evil devices, evil agendas, every gang up, every evil agenda, anywhere under the sun, anywhere, Father, expose them and destroy them. In the name of Jesus, Rakata, by the power in the blood, may they be exposed and be destroyed. By the power in the blood, may they be exposed and be destroyed. Karababasha, in the kuta badiada. Yes, yes, they are exposed and they are destroyed. In the name of Jesus, makuta pushatiria. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. The second to the last, Mark eleven twenty three. Mark eleven twenty three. Second to the last. For suddenly I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believe that those things he says will be done, he will have whatever he says. I say, I will have whatever I say. Say after me, Lord, let all satanic barriers keeping me from meeting my God or you see, let me tell you something. This prayer, we're going to pray it in two ways. Some of you, it is, the next miracle in your life is your, is, a, is your husband. Some of you, the next miracle in your life in God's agenda is your child, your baby. Some of us, the next miracle in your hand, God's agenda is your own personal house. Or to move to the second personal house. What is next for me is not what is next for you. I'm sure you know that. So say this prayer. Say, Lord, let all satanic barrier keeping me away from meeting my God, my next God or the miracle. Let them be destroyed. Let all satanic barriers keeping me from meeting my God or the next miracle be destroyed. Turn into prayer quickly. Every barrier that is trying to hinder me from possessing what the next miracle of my life from taking what is next in my life, I command them to give way and be destroyed. In the name of Jesus. Whatever is standing to hinder me from possessing my next miracle, from taking my next breakthrough, from moving to my next level, I command them destroyed. Every barrier, you are destroyed. Every opposition, every hindrance, in the name of Jesus. Everything trying to hinder me from possessing my next miracle, from taking my next step, from take, moving to my next level, you are destroyed in the name of Jesus. Be thou removed. Be thou cast into the sea in the name of Jesus. Every barrier that is causing delay, trying to deny me of what is next in my life, you are destroyed. You are destroyed. You are cast out of the way into the sea in the name of Jesus. The sea of forgetfulness in the name of Jesus. Rapa Kotaya. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Finally. Everybody say finally. Now we're going to read three scriptures for this final one. Number one is Genesis 21 verse 1 to 2. Then we go to 1 Samuel chapter 1 verse 19. Then we go to Luke 1 36. So let's start from Genesis 21 verse 1 to 2. Genesis 21 verse 1 to 2. And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said. And the Lord did for Sarah as he had spoken. Let's <laughs> Verse 2, verse 2, verse 2, verse 2, verse 2, Genesis 21, 2. For Sarah conceived and bore, what? Abraham, his son, in his old age, at the set time of which God had spoken to him. Let's jump to 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 19. 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 19. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Then they, they rose early in the morning and worshipped before the Lord and returned, eh? and returned. And came to their house at Ramah. And Elikan knew Anna. Is what? His wife. And the Lord remember her. Did you see remember there? Did you remember uh, the other uh, uh, Sarah too? You see the Lord on her. Let's go to Luke 136. Luke 136. Luke 136. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Luke 136. Now indeed, Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Your relative has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is now the sixth month for her who was called barren. 
Say, Lord, open my book of remembrance as you did for Sarah, Anna, and Elizabeth. Say, Lord, open my book of remembrance as you did for Sarah, Anna, and Elizabeth. Now, you, you, now the book of remembrance for some of us that are, may not be a baby, and it may be a baby, but it's something. It's one area of your life where you think you have been forgotten. Can we say it again? Lord, open my book of remembrance as you did for Sarah, Anna, and Elizabeth. Turn it to prayer quickly. Rabbi Kata, Lord, open my book of remembrance as you did for Sarah, Anna, and Elizabeth. You've done it before. You can do it again. You are not a respecter of person. The same way you remember Hannah, the same way you remember Elizabeth, the same way you remember Sarah, Lord, remember me. Every area of my life where it seems I've been forgotten, I command that my book of remembrance be open. Let my book of remembrance be open in the name of Jesus. Wherever it seems like I have been forgotten, let my book of remembrance be open in the name of Jesus. By the power in the blood, by the power in the blood, by the power in the blood. Open your mouth is the final one. Let my book of remembrance be open. Let my book of remembrance be open. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Oh, stretch your communion hope. Lift up your communion. All eyes closed. All legs bow. Wherever it seems like you have been forgotten. Today, 30th of April, 2023. Your book of remembrance is open. The day the book of remembrance of Mordecai was opened. God did that miracle we read in Esther. Today marks the day that your own book of remembrance is open. Yeah. Every area of your life where it seems that you have, it looks like you have been forsaken, it looks like you have been forgotten, your book of remembrance is open today. Yeah. Your book of remembrance is open today. Yeah. Your story is changing from today. Yeah. The case, your case is different from today. Yeah. The bad situation is reversed from today. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare whatever mountain that is standing between you and your next miracle, that mountain is made low. Every barrier is trying to stop you from possessing your next miracle, trying to stop you from entering to your next level, that barrier is giving way now. By the power in the blood of Jesus, that barrier is giving way now. By the power in the blood, that barrier is giving way now. I declare a new dawn in your life. As you take this communion and break it in your house and eat his flesh and drink his blood, I command whatever represents dragon around you is broken down to pieces. Your email is not loud at all. Your email is not loud at all. That email is not loud at all. Whatever represents dragon around you, visible or invisible, as you take this communion and break it in your house or in your place of residence or your place of assignment, I command the dragon broken to pieces. The story I share with you, we had an house, we just got the house made, house, house made, we didn't know that it was a dragon. But in the power, in the midst of prayer, power came down. As soon as you carry this communion to enter your office or enter your house, the power of God will visit that place. There will be a great outpouring of the power of God into that very place. In the name of Jesus, I stand upon the authority in the word of God and I decree your next miracle, you will not miss it. Your next breakthrough will be your reality. All eyes will see it. All ears will hear it. Lift up the communion and begin to give God praise if you believe. Thank you, Jesus. It's a new day. It's a new dawn for me. It's a new visitation in a brand new way. Lift up that communion and give God praise. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. If you know God had your prayer this morning, why not spend the next few seconds to thank God Lord, thank you for hearing me. Thank you for opening the windows of heaven consigning me. Thank you for opening my book of remembrance. 
It's a new day for me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Wow. You see how your communion with you. Please, don't break it here. Go and break it at home. And pray over it. I see heavens open. Everyone who believes in this divine instruction, as you do what the Lord asks us to do, I declare, I see a open heaven. I see a open heaven. Over your family, I see a open heaven. Over your spouse, yourself, your children, I see a open heaven. Over your business, I see a open heaven. Over your ministry, I see a open heaven. Over your career, I see a open heaven. Over your health, I see a open heaven. Over your finance, I see a open heaven. I see a open heaven. So shall it be. Give him praise one more time. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I will never be the same again. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed.